Hello guys, welcome back to the web scraping using Python course. In this particular video, we are going to continue with our objective of fetching news articles from the internet. Now these news articles are going to be related to stock market and this is very essential for stock related financial analysis. Uh, so I'm going to go back to my previous piece of code and continue from there itself. Uh, shift enter. So we have the libraries in place, the URL in place, headers, requests, and let's see where we had ended it. Right. So Oh, okay, so this got updated because today's top article is ahead of market 12 things that will decide stock action on Tuesday. Now, let me just quickly go back to the uh, link, the URL that we're using and see what's up there today. I'm also going to keep the inspect element on. Right, so this is what we have. Uh, all right, so the objective of this lesson would be number one, to fetch top 10 or let's say 15. Uh, we'll start with 10, top 10 articles from the website. And secondly, to fetch the text. Uh, now this is the text that we'll be fetching. Now. Uh, some of them may not be important, but some of them may be very important, such as this one. So get set for Bitcoin halving. Here's what that means. Now, Bitcoin is notoriously volatile, prone to sudden price charges, surges, and swift reversals that can wipe out millions of dollars of value in a matter of minutes. Now, this seems to be important to me. So I'm going to first quickly inspect and see what this element actually is. Now. From our previous lesson, we remember that each story was the class for the whole block. Now, I'm going to quickly search for each story. Yeah, here it is. So each story. Under each story, there is A. Now, okay. Okay. So. Hmm. Oops, I clicked there. Now, image container, no, I do not want the image. This, right. right. Five hours ago, okay, this is the time. Now, here it is, here's the text. So, P tag contains this description of the article. All right, cool. So we get back to this. Now, let's first write a small loop here that gives us all the article heading that we need. So I'm just going to get it here and I'm going to print this. Now, this has to be in a loop. So I'm going to call it uh while index now index let's say just i while index is less than 10 now i'm going to print these stories 0 to 9 which is 10 times I should be here because I want the first each story then the second and the third and so on up to the tenth each story I still want all A's and the last one has the text so okay let's see how it works okay name I is okay rookie mistake I'm going to assign okay this looks decent yeah so we are going to get 
Okay, while we had okay, rookie mistake again. Stop, stop, stop the colonel. Right. So I is zero and I is always going to <laughs> be less than ten. So we're gonna be stuck in an infinite loop. Now I plus equal to one. This should do it. Hmm, perfect. So here we have I'm also quickly going to print uh, I just so I have the count. Okay, let's print I plus one so that we have better numbering. And let us take this above my line. Here you go. So ahead of market, uh, we have exactly ten the top ten news articles from uh, Economic Times. Now let's see quickly. So trade setups, stay precariously poised. Okay, Wall Street quants are turning their skills. The wire side does it look good? Yes, it looks good. Yes. So this is what we have. But these are again really high level uh, article headlines, and we also want the text here. So let's just make sure we copy and paste this and look for the tag p so i do not know whether this will work but there's no harm in trying uh let's see okay very poorly aligned but this seems to be it okay this was quick then I guess we also got lucky because we found P and it was probably the only P element under the tag uh, each source correct each story so each story has just one P element which is why we got lucky now just for a quick check here this and this should give us the same data so we'll look at some of the key indicators and pattern analysis. Let's see. Oh, uh, yep, it gives the same data, right? Now let's just align things a bit more so that it looks better to read. And for that, I'm going to use strings here. So I print i plus one. and let's convert this to string plus i think they should do this go to the next line and print let's see what happens so one is this also i do not like this extra line here which is blank and then there's just one number and th there's no difference really between my a element text and the p element text so i'm going to beautify that bit a little and you know what to do let's do one thing let's call this headline equal to uh, str I'm not sure whether this works, but let's see. This is already a string. Now headline is equal to this. Print comes down. Control X. Control V. Plus headline. Now let's see where this works. Oh wow, lovely. Yeah, this is pretty much it then. All right, let us quickly print a black blank line here. Beautiful, lovely. Yep. So this is it, guys. We've set up our scraper to fetch the top 10 news articles along with their descriptions from what was the website economic times now 
this was pretty simple right not even a lot of code so this is what some six lines exactly okay perfect now since we've already covered functions what I'm going to do is I'm going to write all of this into one block of code and uh, and define a function for it so that we can just fetch all of the articles that we need at once and I've done a bit of hard coding here we'll try and improve on that bit in the next video so that's it for now thank you guys thank you for watching this do not forget to like and subscribe